I'm Luz Fisher from Cornwall Public Library. Thank you for joining me today. These past few months have been very hard. The past few weeks, even more so. Our children, children are so smart, so wondrously curious, so full of questions. Now is the time to share our stories. Today I will be reading a book written by Julius Lester. The pictures are illustrated by Karen Barbour and it is published by Harper Collins, who has given us permission to read this to you. Thank you. The name of our book is Let's Talk About Race. Here's the title page. Let's Talk About Race by Julius Lester illustrated by Karen Barbour. There's a little person here sleeping in a little bed with a butterfly blanket and two birds that seem to be talking to each other. For Malcolm, Hillary, Paige, and Teddy. For Daisy, Jasper, and Nick. I am a story. So are you. So is everyone. My story begins the same way yours does. I was born on... Take me for example. I was born on January 27th, 1939 in St. Louis, Missouri. I'm kind of old, huh? How does your story begin? Many people and many events are part of my story, and yours too. The names of our parents and where they were born, whether or not we have brothers and or sisters. If I had a brother, I had a brother who was nine years older than me, but he is dead. What kind of work my parents did? My father was a minister. My mother was a housewife. My story and yours have many elements, that means parts, such as favorite food, mine is fish, hobbies, I like to do crossword puzzles, take photographs and cook, favorite colors, red or maybe green, but I like orange and purple too. I think my favorite is all of them. Religion, I'm Jewish. Nationality, I'm from the United States. Favorite time of day, night. Oh, and there's something else that is part of my story. It's part of yours too. That's what we call race. I'm black, but race are you. Just, am, just as I am a story and you are a story, Countries tell stories about themselves. Race is a story too. Whether you're black or Asian, Hispanic or white, each race has a story about itself. And that story is almost always the same. My race is better than your race. Some stories are true, some are not. Those who say, my race is better than your race are telling a story that is not true. Why would some people say their race is better than another? Because they feel bad about themselves? Because they are afraid? Because. But there are other ways all of us, even me, even you, think we are better than others. I'm better than you because I live in I'm better than you because I go to school. I'm better than you because I'm a boy. I'm better than you because I'm a girl. I'm better than you because my dad or mom makes more money than your dad or mom. I'm better than you because I'm white. I'm better than you because I'm black. I'm better than you because I'm Hispanic. I'm better than you because I'm Asian. None of these stories are true, are they? 
I want to tell you a true story, but I need your help. Here's what I want you to do. Take your fingers and press them softly against your skin, right below your eyes. Be careful, don't poke yourself in the eye. Okay, now press gently until you feel the hard bone right beneath the surface. Now, if your mom, dad, brother, sister, or friend is close by, ask them if you can touch them. If they say, okay, take your fingers and press softly at the same place beneath their eyes. Press gently until you feel the hard bones right beneath the skin. Now press someplace else on your body, on your arm, on your chest, on your head. Press anywhere until you feel the hard bones beneath your skin. Beneath everybody's skin are the same hard bones. If you were to go outside without your skin on and without your hair on your head, turn the page and see what you would look like. Are you ready? But you want to know something? If I went outside without my skin, my mustache, the hair on my head, what little I have left, I would look just like you and you would look just like me. Suppose, just suppose one day we, I mean everyone in the whole world decided to take off all our clothes and all our skin and all our hair. Then we would go do what we do normally every day. Go to school, go to work, play, shop. Everything would be normal, except we would look at each other and couldn't tell who was a man, who was a woman, who was white, black, Hispanic, or Asian. Which story shall we believe? The one that says my race is better than yours are the one we just discovered for ourselves. Beneath our skin, I look like you, and you look like me, and she looks like her and him, and he looks like him and her, and when we look like them, and they look like us, when I look at you, which story do I see? Do I see only the color of your skin, the shape of your eyes, the texture of your hair? Do I look at you and think I know your story when I don't even know your name? Or do I look at you and wonder, what's your name? When were you born? Where were you born? Where do you live? What do you like? What don't you like? So many questions. Hmm, maybe we like and dislike some of the same things. What do you like? Where were you born? Where do you live? What don't you like? When were you born? What's your name? Your race is not all that you are. My race is not all that I am. Yes, I am black, but I am also a man. I am of medium height. I have a deep voice and a loud laugh. I love to laugh. Do you? Mm -mm. I live in a big house in the woods, in a small town. I like pancakes oh, and macaroni and cheese and maybe cats, and maybe dogs, and maybe birds, and butterflies, and flowers, and purple hats, and yellow shoes. I am so, so, so many things besides my race. To know my story, you have to put together everything I am. Like I bet you didn't know I have asthma. Beneath the skin, we all look alike. You and me. 
I'll take off my skin. Will you take off yours? My wish for you is to inform yourself, to listen, to share your stories, to have conversations, and to remember to listen, even though I know I said that before. Bye. See you soon.